everyone. Um, I, I, I know I'm posting videos back to back right now and I really wasn't really planning to do this, but after everything that happened yesterday, I figured, um, I really need to say something, you know, I've got a lot of stuff to say and I don't want to wait for a week or two weeks before anybody says anything. Yes. I'm wearing the same thing I wore yesterday. It's a onesie. It's not like an outfit or anything. Um, it's starting to get really cold. It's, I, it's quite big. So this isn't all me. This is, I mean, those are my boobs, but these are, you know, it's my onesie and, um, uh, it's got a hood on it, which is really cute. This is the hood and it's got horns. The design's not made very well though, because the horns will not stay up and all it does is drag the hood down. So that's unfortunate, but what do you expect? You know, if you know where this is from, you'll know why I say that, but, uh, it was like the coolest I guess thing I found to want to keep myself warm. Anyway, this isn't about what I'm wearing. I just wanted to say that because, um, you know, I, I've got cat hair and stuff all over me and I was baking. I'm sorry. Um, I just wanted to address it in case somebody's like, Oh my God, dirty bitch or whatever. Um, okay. So yesterday I was feeling so down. Um, I I'll admit I was feeling sorry for myself. I was having a really hard time. I was going through some stuff mentally and emotionally, and I have been for a while, not only because of, um, you know, the, the YouTube stuff, but also the money situation and stress from work and what happened with, you know, the cats and, um, recently Josh's grandma died and we went to go see her before she passed away. She, she wasn't really aware we were there, but at least we were there and, heard some more stuff that his family was saying about me and it just, you know, just, just a lot of things coming down all at once. And, you know, it just, it, it's been building and it's been building and it just all came to a head yesterday. And I was just like, man, and I just, I had a, I threw a complete pity party for myself and I honestly didn't think anybody would see it or care, but I ended up getting such an outpouring of support and positive comments that I really felt the need to do more than a Snapchat filter bathtub video to say I'm sorry and thank you. So I wanted to do one where you could see my face and hear me saying it to you. So um, I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody that wrote. For From what I'm seeing in the comments, um, I guess because I was gone so long, YouTube turns out has pretty much removed me from the algorithm. So essentially you've got to unsubscribe and resubscribe to get notifications that I'm posting because I am posting fairly frequently now. Um, I've been putting out, you know, content here and there. I've got more stuff planned. It's just, I know lately I've been focusing on the color CL stuff and I've explained why. Um, I just, I just love them, you know, and I, they're my current obsession. So I'm, you know, I like to share stuff that I'm obsessed with. These are one of their contacts. These are the um, khaki, uh, khaki, khaki, whatever you say, whatever you call it. These are beautiful. I, I, I didn't like them at first until I did the try on and then I'm like, whoa, I actually really like them. So anyway, um, stop myself from getting off topic is what I'm trying to do. Um, you know, I, I didn't realize that YouTube was not notifying you guys of my videos. I, I, it didn't cross my mind. I didn't know. I was not aware and I apologize. Um, I didn't understand what had happened, why people had quit interacting with me. I mean, I've never gotten a lot of comments anyway. So please, my silent subscribers, please don't feel obligated to have to put yourself out there and comment. I mean, you don't have to do that. I don't expect anything from anybody. It just really bummed me out that I was trying to give something away for free and I couldn't. So that, that just made me feel like lower than lower than low. Um, but it turns out most people didn't get the notification. So that, that'll be why that's all cleared up. The winners have been picked and everything by now. Um, aside from that, um, I've seen certain comments talking about, um, you know, you guys feel like outcast too. You guys feel lonely too. And like, you don't fit in and. It breaks my heart to hear so many people feeling like me, you know, and being in the same boat as me and 
I know I've got trust issues. I am, I'm really trying to work on that. You know, I've been interacting with more people and trying to talk to more people and not just ignore them. So, I mean, this offer is open to anybody, anybody that wants to talk to me or um, that needs an ear that, uh, you know, feels alone, feels down, feels depressed, feels like they've got nobody. You are completely free to come to me. I mean, my email is listed. I quit using it for a great while, but then I started using it again. I'd actually created another email for myself that I was using instead. But since I came back to YouTube, I went back to using the Starblood email. So um, you can write me. You know where my Facebook is. I do check my spam messages and my filtered messages. So I'm not like most people who just let this, you know, this stuff fester and not fester, but, you know, just kind of sit there and not know that somebody's written. Um, I mean, if you ever need an ear, I'm here. If you ever need somebody, I'm here. You know, I've, I've got a lot of people out there, not a lot, but I've got quite a few people out there that, that actually have called me, you know, their sister or mom, you know, and, um, I think that's really, really sweet. And if I could physically be there in person for everybody, I would, but you know, I can't. <laughs> and, um, I just wanted to say, you know, I guess I found, you know, my, my people, you know, the people that feel like they don't fit in and that aren't like everybody else and are lonely and, um, just feel like something is not right. You know, I've got a lot of people like that. I mean, I'm not saying everybody on my channel is like that, but I've got a lot of people like that. It turns out. And, you know, I know that you might be too shy to comment or to write, but the offer is there. So if any of you needs me for anything, even if I'm not posting on YouTube, just you can reach out. You know, I will always try to be there for you. You know, I, I would never turn my back on someone, even at the risk that they might be from hate sites. And that's what's actually gotten me into some of the trouble that I've been in because I've trusted the wrong people, but I don't have it in me to turn my back on someone in need, especially someone that feels like I do. So I just really wanted to put that out there and just let you guys know. Pretty much lastly, there was a comment that I saw, but I have not accepted yet. I'll accept it after I make this and, you know, start to upload it or whatnot. But it's talking about the whole baby situation. And I know I kind of explained it when I came out with like, the truth about everything, but I didn't really touch base on it more. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, you know, I know what I did was wrong and I'm really, really sorry that... I led a lot of people on thinking that I was pregnant. I mean, I had my reasons for doing it. I mean, I could always say that the hate sites made me do it, but you know, they didn't, they didn't force me to do it. I did it because I was trying to mislead them, get them off of, you know, the topics that they were talking about and, and push them to a topic that I knew that they would have a field day with. And they did. But at the same time, you know, people accuse subscribers of no longer seeing, um, YouTube personalities or the people that they watch as real people, but I'm guilty of doing the opposite and I guess kind of not acknowledging that my subscribers are real people and they're, they could be emotionally invested in my life and the things going on with me and watching my journey and my struggles and thinking that I finally got what I've been after for so many years and um, then it turns out not to be true. I can imagine how that would feel for a lot of people and I mean there's no real excusing it. I'm not gonna sit here and just make a bunch of excuses about well the hate sites, well you know protection just flat out I I got carried away and I shouldn't have done it and um, it's eaten me up. It ate me up the whole time that the situation was going on and people were congratulating me. I mean I didn't go along with it and say oh yeah well, I'm having a little girl, I'm having a little boy. I mean, I, I said stuff in my videos, but again, that was geared towards them. Um, but in private messages, I never went along with it and got into all these details and like led people on privately. I just ignored it. And um, I, I just, I knew I was going to have to come out with it because I, I couldn't, I couldn't hold that in and I couldn't just blatantly lie face to face or, you know, online one-on-one -on -one to somebody like that. And, um, I, I apologize for anybody that I hurt, um, 
you know, who was celebrating for me. And, um, that's, that's right along the lines of the whole April fools, you know, I'm pregnant April fools, you know, and I myself have always hated those, you know, I've, I've ragged on people for using pregnancy as an April fools thing many times, you know, I'm like, you know, there are people that are struggling and, you know, everybody's, you know, pregnancy is not something to be joked about or, you know, lied about or whatever. And then here I was, and then I did, I did essentially that for whatever reason, you know, no reason is good enough to justify doing that. And, you know, I just, I got caught up in the whole thing. I didn't think anybody really cared enough to really be that invested. I mean, I knew that they would be, but at the same time, I told myself they wouldn't be, you know, I get lost in my own head a lot of the time and it just it just makes me feel quite often that I'm I'm nothing I'm nobody nobody cares and I can pretty much do and say whatever I want because nobody nobody gives a shit and then it turns out that's not true and I feel like an ass for thinking that but that's an area I should have never gone to and I can't tell you how sorry I am and that I hope that you can forgive me and understand why I did what I did, even though that's not really an excuse for, for doing that. <laughs> She's trying to bite me. Uh, sorry, I had to stop the video because Josh just came home. Um, my Amara is sitting right here and she's trying to bite on me. Look, look at the camera. Oh, look at that face. Look, that's you. You're so pretty. She's the one with the one, one yellow or green eye and one blue eye. But she gives me love bites all the time. So she just, and she chomps on my finger. Anyway, so... To wrap this up, um, I just wanted to say a huge thank you again to everybody. Just to go over that. Not so hard. I love you, but that hurts so much. Anyway. Oh, come on. So, to wrap it up, thank you everybody that has commented and that has reached out to me. I've had a lot of people reach out. Um, Instagram, Facebook, and email, and all the comments, all, the, I mean, the comments were beautiful. They were, they were so sweet, and I feel, like I said yesterday, I feel like an ass. Um, a lot of you guys understand what it's like to get lost in your own head, and to get depressed, and just feel like, you know, the world and everything is against you. Um, this wasn't a personal attack on anybody, not any one person. I don't expect comments, I don't expect interaction. It was just, you know, like I said, it was, it was the fact that I didn't get contacted about the giveaway and I just, I've just seen people leaving my channel and I'm like, what can I do to keep the people who were here? Um, I, I, I just haven't known what's going on and just with everything else, it just piled up and just, just did my head in and thank you guys so much for putting my head straight. I feel, I, I feel so much better now, even though I feel like a total ass. Um, again, if you guys need anything please don't hesitate to contact me. Come to me. I will talk to you. I will listen. I'm not great at advice, but I will try. And, um, and again, about the whole pregnancy thing, please take my, my sincerest apology. And I really hope that you can forgive me over time and stick around. Or if you have to leave for a while because you're mad at me, come back, come back and say hi or something. Um, I guess it's about all I have to say. This has already run way longer than I thought it was going to. I will see you guys um, pretty soon. I've got an appointment this Saturday for something very, very special, as I posted on my page. I had um, made an appointment months ago. Um, I had made an appointment months ago and I've just been waiting for the date to come around to get my Logan tattoo covered up, which I'm super stoked about. So I've already, it's already paid everything. It's just, it was just waiting for the appointment because, um, I, I mean, I can only go on Saturdays because I work. So the day is finally coming up and I'm so excited. It just took me a while to find not only an artist that is good enough because around here, actually, there's not really a lot of people that are good. Where I went to for this um, was actually quite far, and I don't really want to go over, you know, an hour and a half away for this. So I did a lot of searching for someone nearby and someone who would work with me, who would do this design, a design that I wanted to do, and who I felt could actually do it. Because there, like I said, there are not a lot of good artists around here, and 
this is right on my arm it's very very visible and I needed to make sure that the person would be good enough so fingers crossed this girl is good from what I saw she's good hopefully she will do a, a good job and I can show it off and not have to worry about having the name of somebody that literally no longer exists not only as my husband but as a person they were when I was with them they don't exist anymore I don't need this name on me and I've been hunting and hunting and hunting for the right design and the right person I finally found the right design and I finally found a person that I trust from what I've seen online so I'm going to be documenting that totally excited for that um, that will probably be my next video until then thank you so much please unsubscribe to me and then resubscribe to me so that you can get notifications because apparently that is what you need to do or else you're not going to know anything. You might not even know I posted this. Um, I love you guys and you guys are, you guys are great. You know, I, I'm so, so proud to have the subscribers that I do. Quality over quantity. I might not have a huge amount, but the people that I have you guys are super sweet. You guys are amazing. And I just like, yeah, I feel like such an ass. You guys are always there for me when I need you the most. And I, I tend to forget that because my head just does away with me. And I hate my head and my brain and the way I think so much sometimes. You guys have always been there for me. And I, I'm so sorry for everything. I would really like to start fresh. New year knew everything. Let's forget about this year, please. And let's just move forward. Um, I love you guys to death. Thank you so much. I will see you guys very soon.